What's going on everyone and welcome back to Restoring Style. Of course it is the second episode. If you missed the first episode of the series which came out yesterday, there will be a link to the series playlist in the description. You can go and check that one out. I'd really advise you to go and watch the first episode before watching this one as it really gives you an idea of why I've decided to start up this series and what I'm actually going to be trying to achieve in this save with Style Bucharest. But before I get into anything in this episode, I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys for your responses on that first episode. Uh, the likes, the comments, uh, I really appreciated it and it made me happy to know that you guys you know, enjoyed that first episode and that you see potential in the series. So that was very pleasing for me. But anyway, let's shift our focus back to this episode. You can see I've got the transfer uh, page up on the screen. My business is pretty much done already. You know, you can see it's only the 9th of July and the season in Romania actually starts really early on in the summer. I think the league season starts at the end of July and today I'm going to be bringing you the Super Cup game and that's on the game, uh, the, today's game day. So, yeah, the season starts really early in Romania. So I tried to get all my transfer business concluded before, you know, we kick off the competitive season. Um, so we'll talk about the players that actually left the club first up. First of all, we've got Cornell Rappa. He went to Genk for £650,000. 24-year-old right back, got five caps for Romania. He's a decent fullback, but... Um, you will notice that I've the two players that I've actually let go from the club are fullbacks, and I'll explain my reasonings behind that a little bit more when I get into the system that I'm going to be playing with, hopefully for uh, this season and beyond. So we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth when I get to that stage. But yeah, Cornell Rapper has left the club for six hundred and fifty thousand pounds, and Alan Tosca also went out on loan to FC Vitorul, twenty-two year old left back again. He wasn't going to be of much use to us like Rapper due to the system that we are going to be playing with this season. Moving on to players that we actually brought in though. Gabriel Enache is the first one that came in from AFC Astra, one of our rivals in the league. We spent £1.1 million on him. Uh, right wing, a decent player actually, very decent player. Good crossing, decent dribbling, his pace is good. Excited to see him in the team. Of course, he's only 23 years old, so he's got plenty of room to develop. And yeah, I'm generally very excited to see him in action. I actually had another right winger who I w was planning to use before I realised that I had to go and buy another one. Alex Andrew Chipku. You can see he's in the under-19s. And if you look down, you can see he's unavailable to play until the 15th of January. Um, I didn't realise that at first because beside his name, it didn't have, you know, the unavailable sign. But yeah... He's not available and quite strangely as well, we've also got another player who's unavailable due to medical reasons. Lucian Philip is out until the 15th of February. So it's a bit strange really. I might have to have a look into those two players and see why that is the case. But yeah, it is a little bit strange to have two players out uh, for medical reasons and a bit disappointing really because I could have used both of them you know in our squad but uh, the last player that we actually brought in is a club icon returning Mirel Radoy has joined us from Al Arabi for £56,000 33 year old Romanian got 67 caps for his country and if I show you he actually spent eight and a half years at Stal Bucharest before moving on to the Saudi league and then uh, the league in the UAE so He's coming back. Of course, he's not uh, someone who's going to be in our long-term plans. He's 33 years old. But I think for the immediate future, he's going to be a real big asset for us. A real leader. Um, brings massive experience to the squad. And I'm um, excited to see the kind of impact that he can have on us. There's also one player I forgot to mention that is actually leaving the club. That is Varela, um, centre-back. 26 years old. He's actually a really decent centre-back, but of course, uh, the idea behind this save is that I want to try and win the Champions League with a full Romanian team. So I'm trying to ship out the foreign players as quickly as possible. Um, quite a few clubs, as you may have seen, came in for Varela, and he's going to be going. The deal isn't complete yet, but you can see there's a number of teams that have had a bit of £1 million accepted, so it's just about him pretty much just choosing the team that he wants to move to. So Varela will be making his way out of the club and that will mean that we've actually made a profit on transfers, which is good. Um, not a lot of business, but um, that's kind of what I tend to do when I join a club. I don't like to have massive overhauls of the team when I first join. The first season really is usually about me um, assessing what I have got currently um, 
and then re- rebuilding kind of from the second season onwards. But yeah, that's the transfer business. Let's actually move on to the system now that I was talking about. And I'm going to be playing with three at the back. I have played this system. It's a 3 4 one, two. I've used it in a previous save uh, with Valencia. And it worked out pretty well. Um, I think we've got the personnel to do it. So I'm going to be trying it out in this save. Um, it's really attacking, as you can see, just the three centre-backs. It relies on a lot of... Uh, you know, defensively, the wingers are going to have to track back. Uh, it worked out quite well in the other save that I had. So I'm hopeful that I can... Uh, use it in this one in the Champions League. I don't know if it's going to work. Of course, we are going to be if we do get through. We're in the qualifying rounds, which I'll mention a bit later on. But um, in the Champions League, it's going to be a massive risk. But in the league, we're expected to dominate most games. I feel like this formation will help us to do so. So that's what I'm going to be uh, trying out for the for the foreseeable future. Anyway, if it doesn't work out, of course, I can always change it. We've got some very versatile players in the squad. So if I do have to change the formation to a more conventional one then I can always do that so um, that's not too bad anyway we've got a game today in the Romanian Super Cup to kick off our competitive season against AFC Astra this is the team that I'm actually going to play for the game we've got uh, Arlo Ar Arlauskis it's going to be some of these names I said it in the last episode you're going to have to bear with me we've got Arlauskis in goal he's Lithuanian of course he's a foreign player but I'm going to be keeping him for this season I didn't think there was any other options really and I think he's literally just joined the club uh, in game, so it was going to be hard to sell him on. But they're going to have a back three of Tamas, Pap, and Radoy. Uh, on the right wing, we've got the new signing from the club we're facing, in fact, uh, Inache. In midfield, we've got Nicandro Abriveld. He's a uh, from the Netherlands, sorry. So he's another player we're going to be looking to move on. But for this season, I think he'll be a, a good player for us. So we're going to keep him around. Good ball winning midfielder. Uh, there, uh, Nikosos, thank you, of course, a player I've had uh, a lot of experience using. Play him in a, in a slightly deeper role, of course. He's naturally a central attacking midfielder, but I know that he can play in central midfield, so I'm going to be playing him there in this game or maybe for the in this save. Uh, on the left wing, we've got Christian Tanase. Um, we've got Gabriel Iancu in the central attacking midfield role. Raul Rosescu up front alongside Claudio Cazero. So that's the team. Of course, I want to get this save off in my first competitive game with a win. It would be great for the morale heading into um, the season. We've actually got a Champions League qualifying game coming up in a couple of weeks' time. So we want to build some early momentum going into that one. But anyway, no more talking. I'm going to get into the game for the Romanian Super Cup against AFC Astra. So first opportunity of the game could be falling our way. Just a minute into it, in fact, corner came in, but the initial ball was dealt with. But we still regain possession. Radoy on the ball into Nikosos. Thank you to Rosescu. Can he find a pass? He does into Yanku, but it's a good save from the keeper, and they managed to get it clear. And so far in the game, we've been pretty dominant in terms of the possession. Had a, uh, one more shot then, uh, Astra. Or on the attack again, Inanche on the ball. Can he get in across? He plays it to Nikosos. Thank you. Well tackled though, but we're still on the attack. Iancu, thank you. Oh, that, that, that's great. Uh, Kiseru, all these names. Thank you. Good passing at the moment. Iancu into Kiseru. He's got a score here. It cut, falls back to Rosescu. And there is our first goal of this series. Raul Rosescu on loan from Sevilla. Good finish there after some neat little passing play um, between our attacking midfielders. And there is the 1-0 lead. And straight after that, we may be looking to extend our lead. We're on the attack again. We've made a brilliant start to the game. Oh, and it hits. Was it a save? It looked like it hit the woodwork, but I think it was a save. And uh, we're denied. And as we come to the end of the first half, we've been in complete control of this game. But as I say that, we've picked up an injury. The captain, Tanase, has picked up an injury. I think I showed you him in the first episode. Really good left winger. So a bit unfortunate that he's picked up an injury. Hopefully it's not too serious. Who can we bring on? We'll bring on Yasmin Latovlekviki. Oh god, wow, that is a that is a mouthful. That is re decent. Uh, he's actually naturally a left back, but um, of course with the system that we're going to be playing, he'll be used as a left wing. It looks pretty decent actually. So uh, I'll bring him into the game. As I said, close to half time now. We've got that one nil lead. We've been dominant so far. And I will expect us to uh, extend that lead pretty soon, actually. Right then, there it is. Half-time in our first game of this series. 1-0 lead. Um, 
going into it. Really good first half. Couldn't have asked for more, really. Would have be nice to have a little bit more of a cushion, but we've done all the right things so far. We've dominated position. We've really uh, stamped our authority on the game, and in the second half, we'll be looking to add a few more goals and uh, seal this win and our first trophy of the series. And early on in the second half, we're bringing the ball forward into the Astra half. Casero's got a good chance, and it is a great finish. Lovely composure there, just to slot it home. Claudio Casero with the goal. Good uh, play between the two strikers, linking up well there. And we've extended our lead to 2-0. And uh, we'll be pretty confident of going on and sealing this win now. The game may not be over just yet, though, as Astra bring the ball forward. But it's a good save by the keeper. Their first, really, only opportunity of the game so far. And we dealt with it comfortably. So 25 minutes left to go. I'm going to make a change or two now just to freshen up the game a little bit. Um, I'm going to bring on George Tukaden, or Tukadine, sorry. He's on loan from Charlton, actually, uh, for the season. I'll bring him on for Kizeru scored uh, the two goals, or the uh, one goal, sorry, in this game so far. And, yeah, I don't think I'll make any more changes. That'll be it for now. 2-0 lead. Uh, there's, I'll be shocked if we throw it away now. We're really comfortable in this game. Astra have pose little threat so far in the match and um, it's a very pleasing performance so far in this game and there it is the full-time whistle blows at the national arena 2-0 to Stal Bucharest and our first piece of silverware in the series has been secured of course it's probably not the most decorated piece of silverware but it is silverware nonetheless and we'll uh, we'll be delighted to take that to kick off the series. I'll show you the stats from the game. As you can see there. It was a very very comfortable 2-0 win. Raul Rosescu and Claudio Cazero. The two strikers scoring in the 2-0 win. Of course Astra as I said. I think they finished runners up in the previous season in the league. So there are a bit of a close rivalry in the league for us. So it was good to get a comfortable win in that game. Uh, let's have a look at the injury. So it doesn't look like the injury to our captain was too serious. But very pleasing. Um, that we've managed to get off with the win. We've got the Champions League coming up in less than a week's time, or not, just over a week's time, sorry, against Dudelange. Where are they from? Not too sure. Uh, from Luxembourg. I don't think I'm going to cover that game, to be honest. Um, I would, ex well, suspect, I suspect that they won't be that much of a match for us. I don't want to underestimate them, but I'm not sure. I don't think, I don't think we're going to have a, too much of a tough time getting through that qualifying round, is it? What round is it actually? In fact, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's the second qualifying round. I just saw it there. So the second qualifying round is. I'm not sure if it's the playoff after that. Um, um, um there may be another qualifying round. I'm not too sure. But anyway, I'll come back for the first game of the season. We've got Panduri in that game. Not too sure about them. See, I'm really learning about these sides in the remaining league. I have no knowledge of any of these teams. Um, so you know, I'm really learning as I go about this league. So we'll come back for this game against Panduri, first day of the season. But I am going to wrap this episode up for now. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave it a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel just yet, please do subscribe to the channel. But for now, it's been Halfback FM, and I'll see you guys very soon.